Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. Now this one is a battle of the bands and it's the Primitives against Transvision Vamp. Now I put these two together because they've got so much in common. Firstly, they were out around the same time. They released three albums in their original lifespan, although the Primitives have since reformed in the 2000s or the late, or the 210s actually. They both had albums in 1988, 89 and 91 and both bands are guitar based bands and both are fronted by female blonde singers although uh, Tracy Tracy from the Primitives uh, went brunette for her second album. Now Transvision Vamp consisted of Wendy James on uh, vocals, Nick Christian Sayer on guitar, Dave Parsons on bass. Tex Axel on keys and Paul Burton on drums, had to write that down. And the Primitives consisted of Tracy Tracy on vocals, Paul Court on guitars and vocals, Steve Dulligan on bass and Tig Williams on drums and then he was replaced by Paul Sampson. So how am I going to do this? Um, right, first of all I'm going to look at the albums and I'm going to pair off each album from uh, that given year, 88, 89 and 91. And then I'm going to do um, the singles. Now I don't have all the primitive singles. I've got nine of them. I've ten Transvision Bump singles, which means I have to leave one out. The worst one, which is that one there, um, I Just Want to Be With You, which is all right. It's nothing fantastic. But um, I'm going to actually rank them. And I'll start from nine going down to one for each of them and I'll pair number nine of each of them off if you see what I mean and then number eight, number seven all the way down to number one and see who wins. So starting off with the albums and in 1988 we have The Primitives release uh, Lovely and Transvision Bump release Pop Art. Now these are two very good albums I really enjoyed the both of them. The Primitives one um, the two big singles off this are Crash and Out of Reach, which are excellent. It's very jingly jangly uh, guitar, um, very reminiscent in some cases of the birds and it's a little bit sort of psychedelic as well with things like Through the Flowers and Shadow. Um, Shadow itself has, brings in a lot of in Indian instruments, but it's pure pop as well because they're catchy little tunes and Tracy Tracy doesn't sing them all. For example, Buzz 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 is sung by Paul Court and it's just an absolutely excellent album. Two other singles off this, Stop Killing Me and I'll Stick With You, which I don't have, um, are included in this. It's really, really good. So yeah, it's a very sound album. Pop Art by Transvision Vamp. This, um, it, the, the production on this is bigger than the, pr the Primitives and it's a little bit heavier. And this is riddled with great singles as well. For example, I Want Your Love, uh, which was a big hit. Revolution Baby, which is fantastic. Sister Moon, which is great. Tell That Girl to Shut Up, which is a pretty good, it's okay. It's not the best one, but it's not bad. Uh, side one of this is actually nearly perfect. And side two is not far away. There's a great song called Andy Warhol's Dead. The only thing that annoys me about Wendy James's voice is whenever she sings a verse, she sings a verse. And then the next time she sings that verse, or the second verse, she sort of half sings, half raps it. Which I can never understand why. But this is really full blown. And this is quite the opposite. Which one would win? I'm going to give it to the Primitives. I actually do prefer this. I bought this in the 88 and it's a pretty sound album. So it's 1-0 to the Primitives. Okay, going on to 1989 and the Primitives release the album Pure and Transvision Vamp released their biggest hit album and that's Velveteen. Now as you can see Tracy Tracy has changed her hair colouring. Um, okay this is more or less the same but it's a little bit better produced. Outside and Summer Rain, the two openers in this are really really dreamy and they're really good. Sick of it was a single which is not so bad. Um, you get another single way behind me which is really excellent it's like a real finger clicking song 
um, Can't Bring Me Down is really good uh, Dizzy Heights is very very good it's a very strong album and the CD actually has four extra tracks and they do a version of the Velvet Underground's um, I'll Be Your Mirror so it's a really solid album um, there's not a bad song on it Velveteen by um, Transvision Vamp came out in 1989 and this is riddled with huge hit singles Side 1 is pretty damn good you have Baby I Don't Care the only one, Landslide of Love, one of their best. And then there's a song called Falling for a Gold Mine, which I think should have been a single. It is excellent. Down and Use OK, and then Song for the Stars is awful. That's the last song on side one. Side two, you have Kiss Their Sons, which is put on most of the uh, Translation Bump compilations. Born to be Sold, either love it or hate it. Um, sometimes I love it, sometimes I can't stand it. Pay the Ghost, oh, it's alright, Bad Valentine's alright, and then they do a big nine minute long velveteen which is full of strings, but it goes absolutely nowhere. I have to give it to this one again, so that's 2-0 to the Primitives, pure. It's a solid album right the whole way through. So the Primitives win the albums, but we'll do the third one anyway. The third one, and we have Little Magnets versus The Bubble of Babel by uh, Transvision Vamp and I have to show a CD for the Primitives one and it is galore. Now we'll do the Transvision Vamp first. This is slightly different, this is uh, more shuffly, I think this is more influenced by the Stone Roses, it's a little bit more laid back. I hated this album at the start, I actually quite like it now, I think it's pretty good. Uh, two singles, um, I Just Want to Be With You which I just showed and If Looks Could Kill which is quite laid back. Um, Ain't No Rules is it's almost like a Lou Reed type song. And we have Twangy Wig Out, which takes in the music of uh, Serge Gainsbourg and Jane Birkin, um, Je T'aime, Moi Non Plus. And it's actually quite good. I think um, Texas did that as well for one of their tracks. And then you get a version of uh, Can You Please Crawl Out Your Window, the Bob Dylan song. And it's, it's a stripped back version, but it is pretty good. I enjoyed this album. I think it is a decent enough album. Still not as good as the first two, even though the second one is very patchy. I nearly put this as my second choice, but the singles on the second one were just so good that this had to come third. Um, this one here is the third best of the Primitives as well. It's not as good as the first two. And again, this is influenced by the times. This is 1991. And the first song, You Are The Way, could fit perfectly on Blur's Leisure album, as could the second one, Lead Me Astray. Both singles. Good, decent enough songs, especially You Are The Way is very good. Earth Thing has uh, Paul Court singing lead vocals and it's not up to much. Slip Away is a very good song. Hello Jesus is very good. The thing about this one, again, is the songs are more consistent than the Transvision Bump ones. So I have to give it to the Primitives galore. So the Primitives win 3 0 on the albums, but will they win on the singles? Okay, so we'll do head to head on each of the singles. So my ninth favourite single of the ones I've got from the Primitives is this says spells but it's actually earth thing and against um if looks could kill um without a shadow of a doubt i have to give it to this one here i'm not a keen fan on the earth thing it's the worst song on the galore album but this is pretty good shuffly so it's one nil to transvision vamp okay next one is Born to be Sold from the um, Velveteen album against Lead Me Astray from the Galore album. So that's two from the Galore and this wins. It's a better song. This is okay if you're in the mood for it and it's got little patches that I really like in it but it's annoying as hell at times. So Lead Me Astray. That's one each. Next up is Sick of it from the Pure album by the Primitives and Tell That Girl to Shut Up uh, from their debut album. Yeah, hmm, they're both decent enough, 
but I will give it to Transvision Vamp. Tell that girl to shut up. I think it's got more of. This is actually not a bad song, but it's still. It's not as good as their other singles, and so I uh, have to give it to Tell That Girl to Shut Up. It's better fun. So that's 2 1 to the Transvision Bump. Next we have You Are the Way, which is the one I said sounds like Blur by the Primitives, and Sister Moon from their uh, Transvision Vamp pop art album. Yeah, I was tempted to give it to this because I think it is really good, but it does sound too much like Blur. And I was tempted not to give this because this is where she does her almost rapping and whenever she's doing the verses, but I must give it this, it's a better song. It's really good. Um I love the chorus of it and the the, the backing vocals are very good as well. So that's three nil to Transvision Vamp. Okay, now we have Through the Flowers by the Primitives against the big hit Baby I Don't Care. I'm very fond of both of them. Um, Through the Flowers is very sort of psychedelic. This is in your face and I'm going to give it to this. I have to. Um, I really do like it. So Baby I Don't Care from the Velveteen album over Through the Flowers which was a single before they had success. So that is actually 4-1 to Transvision Vamp. Okay um, the next one and this is my fourth favourite single of each of them and Transvision Vamp I don't want your money honey I want your love yeah this is really good this is what um, actually hurled them up the charts to start with and this is Secrets from their second album I'm being honest I love both of them but I have to give it to Secrets I think it's just a really fantastic little pop song yes this is big production and all the rest of it but I would always come back to this more so that's 4-2 to Transvision Vamp okay my third favourite um, primitive single is Way Behind Me which has got as I say a very finger clicking uh, groove to it and Landslide of Love which is a huge big blown up almost 60s type ballad um, almost um, no, it's almost wall of sound actually. Yeah, two fantastic songs, really fantastic. But I do have to give it to Landslide of Love. I think it's just a magnificent song. So that's five two to the um, Transvision Bump. Okay, so uh, the second best single from Transvision Bump, in my view, is the only one, and that's from Velveteen as well. This rocks along brilliantly and the second best single by the Primitives is Crash and this was their biggest hit. Yeah, I love the both of them, absolutely adore the both of them, but Crash wins it. And that's 5-3 to Transvision Vamp. And lastly, the best Transvision Vamp single for me is Revolution Baby. Now this is the remix, not the original. I do have the original single as well, but this is much better and Out of Reach from their first album. This was the follow up to Crash. Two brilliant songs. This wins every time. This I think is magnificent, absolutely brilliant. So that is 5-4 to Transvision Vamp. So Transvision Vamp win the singles, the Primitives win the albums. So the decider is if I had to keep one full set, uh, one collection, which one would I give away? And I would probably give away the Transvision Vamp and keep the Primitives. So for the Battle of Vans, for me, the Primitives win just. Although I think their albums generally are much better. Okay, that's me for now. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope to have another video quite soon. All the best now. Bye-bye.